telling y'all it's Brian today. That little old spike was feeling it early this morning. I think we got a little bit of a second rut going on. Uh, Presley hunted here yesterday. Saw two or three little spikes and a bunch of fresh scrapes on the road I was coming in. That one made him a brand new scrape like a big deer. So this late December Typically the rut's over by now. I'm not so sure we might not get a little bit of a second rut. You know, any toes that didn't get bred early December, really mid-December, they'll cycle again in mid-January in a couple, another week to two weeks. It'll be interesting to see if we see some more buck activity pick up on these scrapes. You know, I've been getting those pictures on the lone wolf camera almost daily of bugs checking scrapes here we are with what the rut's supposed to be over but they're still walking and it is it's the young deer but uh, maybe the big deer locked down with the doe somewhere sooner or later the rut will be over and they'll start feeding so, it's a pretty morning the wind wasn't real good for the places i normally bow hunt so i came in this box stand the wind's good here that deer came out and directly upwind where i thought they would Maybe we'll get, a, get his granddaddy to come by. Alright y'all, that was a slow morning. Saw the one spike early, y'all saw they are making a scrape. And they had one doe slip through the hardwoods here. Oh. She circled around, got downwind of me, spooked a little bit. It wasn't too bad, she kind of tipped off, but nothing else came through here the last couple of days deer movement's been terrible really don't know that I can figure it out other than maybe because hunting pressure's high bucks are pushing does some the little bucks are wandering around messing with these does big bucks are either laid up with a doe or the rut's about over and probably the biggest thing that's going on right now is we've got a full moon. The moon's high, high, full. We'll start working back down off of that in the next couple of weeks. Maybe we might look up and get some daytime movement during a little second rut there. All you can do is keep going, keep killing at home. So sooner or later to bump into one or one to push one. They, got, they get up and move, obviously. They just move less and maybe not so much in the daylight. So. We'll go back to the truck. Get a little snack. I'm gonna slip in there to my lone wolf setup. Check that camera. Go on, be prepared to hunt a midday hunt. If there's anything on the camera, still probably gonna stay a little while. Then uh, try to make a decision on what we're gonna do this afternoon. I'll be right back. John, yeah, we made it in here. Back in this lone wolf setup in the hardwoods where we've been hunting. It's been about last two afternoon sets here I didn't see a deer the night before last was only uh, one spike came through and checked the scrape the night before that it was a couple other small deer a little eight point a nice little six point but I just checked the camera again and last night just afternoon didn't see a deer in here and last night like one little old doe or spike or something walked by the scrape I don't know if I've blown this place out just not as much movement through here as I think, but it's 11 o'clock. I'm gonna sit here a little while, hour and a half, couple of hours. I heard some turkeys when I came in here, and I don't think I spoke to them. It's pretty loud, it's real windy. I'm gonna hang out here a little while, and I'm gonna break this set down and take it out. We got some rain, quite a bit of rain coming tomorrow. When it rains, I'm not gonna be able to get in here. I got a spot, I'm barely able to jump a ditch with any amount of rain. I'm a little bit, a couple of hours, and think about where I'm going to hunt this afternoon, watch what the wind's going to do. One of these days we're going to get lucky. Alright y'all, we're back in the stand, it's about 2.30. I came to a ladder stand that I only hunted in one time this year, didn't see a deer. It's about halfway between the box stand we were in this morning in the locker home where we've been in the thicket. Oh, 
pretty good travel corridor through here. We're not far from the Sawtooth Oaks where we're getting all those bucks pictures early in the year. We know there's one other buck. Tate killed the big eight point, so. We know there's another buck in there. It's a mainframe 10 with a couple of stickers. Makes him a 12. It looks like an old buck. We, we might get lucky. The wind's a little bad.
All right, everybody, we made it out. That was a fun afternoon. Kind of a slow morning. Little buck there making a scrape early and then not much action after that. And then went in there to that thicket stand midday, didn't stay about an hour. Of course, didn't see anything there. Went ahead and took that Malone Wolf custom gear hang on stand down and got it out of there because it got rain coming where I go in there I had to cross a ditch and if it rains any much at all it's going I'm gonna be able to get in there so I went ahead and brought that out and went in there this afternoon in that ladder stand and a lot of action I tell you I don't know that I ever remember seeing that many young bucks running around making scrapes and checking scrapes today's December 30th usually that stuff's over with by now or why i don't i really like i said i don't know i think maybe the initial rut was a couple weeks ago we're in the middle of a second rut right now is what i really think is going on uh but we also got a full moon which i think affects movement during the day maybe most of the deer the bigger deer are just staying bedded up during the day and then moving at night it's a little warm too but the fun day, a lot of deer got some of those deer there really close. That little six point, that's the same one I've had the pictures of in the thicket there and never did see him until today. Presley saw him yesterday, so he's hanging in there. I don't think we ever got his picture on the Browning Trail cams early in September and October. I don't think he was around, so he, he's one that moved in on us. But anyway, we appreciate y'all watching and um, Got a little rain coming in tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to hunt tomorrow or not. I think I'm going to hunt at least maybe in the afternoon, but we'll be do something, so y'all make sure you subscribe.